Let us come before God in prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, at the start of this new year, we do as we always do. We come to gather and seek your grace in our lives for the times ahead. For your wisdom in its puzzles, your strength for all which will challenge us. Lord God, you build up your people. You gather the outcast. You heal the brokenhearted and bind up their wounds. You're the God we long to know and to know better. You're the God who deserves everything we have to give. You name all the stars and you know each one of them. And you also know each one of us. We have gathered to praise you, to listen to you, to find new strength in your service. Holy Father, in your Son Christ Jesus, we are perfect, tasting already the joy of heaven, wonderfully in harmony with you and with one another. But in ourselves we're still messing up, living as if you'd not sent your Son to save us. We confess our sins and the sins of this community and nation before you. Heal us, change us, redirect us, sort us out that we can live before you and before the whole world in newness of life, humbly rejoicing in the life of Christ. Lord God, you have wonderfully created the world that over millennia it might sustain and develop new human life. While you occupy the wind and water and can be seen everywhere, you are greater than nature. You delight in all you have made. You take pleasure at such as a strength in a horse, but much more in the obedience of your people and those who hope in your steadfast love. And how should we hope in that love unless you teach us, unless you show us, unless you reveal Christ anew to us, unless your spirit in occupies our songs, our worship, our scriptures, our what response, our service. That's our desire, Lord that our lives would become like a water garden, like a sweet symphony, like a lovely poem, an offering for those who delight to serve you through Christ Jesus, through whom we pray and we continue to pray together the words he taught his disciples. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our reading today is from John's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 10 to 18. Let's listen to the word of God. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to anyone who did accept him, he gave the right to become God's children. Yes, to anyone who believes in his name. They were not born from blood or fleshly desire or from the intention of man, but from God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. We gazed upon his glory, glory like that of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John gave evidence about him, loud and clear. This is the one, he said, that I was speaking about when I told you 
the one who comes after me ranks ahead of me because he was before me. Yes, it's out of this fullness that we have all received grace, indeed on top of grace. The law, you see, is given through Moses. Grace and truth come from Jesus the Messiah. Nobody has ever seen God, the only begotten God, who is intimately close to the Father. He has brought him to light. Amen. And may God bless us for this reading of God's holy word.